What is up guys? It's your favorite transparent YouTuber, Transparent Hoodie, back at you with another video. Um, live reaction, One Piece video. So recently, I want to say today or yesterday, uh, we got in three new trailers for new characters that they're showcasing for Pirate Warriors 3. Uh, well, I said Pirate Warriors 3, Pirate Warriors 4, sorry. So the three characters that they're unveiling to us that's going to be playable within this game is Ace, Marco, and Whitebeard. We're gonna go over all three of their trailers together. This is the first time I'm watching these trailers, but um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Like, I'm not. Eh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not really all that excited. Like, I, I'm not too excited for Ace. I'm not too excited for Marco or like Whitebeard. I, I want to see what they do with them. But Ace and Marco, like, they've been a part of the Pirate Warriors franchise for so long. I think I've mentioned it in other videos, and you guys called me out on it, where. They're going to be in the game, but I didn't want them to be in the game. I felt like at this point, One Piece just have so many other new characters that I would love to see be represented in Pirate Warriors 4. So I wouldn't have mind if they dropped Marco, if they dropped Ace, or heck, if they even dropped Whitebeard. But like um, a commenter in another video said, like these, I guess these guys are just very, very popular characters. So them not being in the game would kind of leave a bad taste in the mouths of a lot of fans that play these games. But it is what it is. Like I said, you can't please anyone. You can't please everybody. And in this situation, I'm the guy that didn't get pleased too well. But we'll still go over the three different trailers. We'll still see what they're going to be doing. And we'll see what they're able to or capable of doing. Let's just um let's just start the video. Let's let's see what uh the boy Ace has to offer. All right. So that's the thing about Ace I'm already noticing instantly like a lot of his move set isn't really all that new. I mean, they did switch up and change up some of his animations which is pretty dope. It looks like Ace has a lot of charge moves now. Yeah, that's... Yeah, like like I said, like Ace has been a part of Pirate Warriors for so long, so there's not much new things that they can really add for him on top of him being, you know... Un spoiler warning, if you guys don't know already, him being gone, you know, like him passing away or him being killed. So there's not much they can really do with the character. So, next up is Marco. Marco, impress me. Let's see. Did they change you up? This game does look very hockey-oriented, so hopefully they gave him, like, hockey-based moves. No, that's a little old. I think they added one or two more animations to that move. Ooh, that's, an, ooh, that's a little new. Okay, that's a little new. Okay, that's old. That's an old super. That's an old super. I f the I think they changed up the animation a little bit, but that's an old super. So Marco, I want to say one or two of his moves did change overall, but again, like he still feels like the same character. He doesn't feel like he's all that different. All right. So last but not least, big boy Whitebeard. Whitebeard, let's see what you have to offer. Let's go. Now, I'm actually really impressed. Well, I said impressed. I'm really interested to see what they do with Whitebeard. That's an old move. That's old. That's old. Okay, that's new. That was actually a new move. That's a little That's a little new. That's previous animations, but they look like they added a couple more to it. Like the choreography. That's an old move. Yeah, like I said, like all three of these guys have been in Pirate Warriors for so long. I think Whitebeard has been there since. Don't I? White Whitebeard has been there since two. I think he's been there since all of them, right? One to four. Ace has been there for I think I, I want to say one to four. Marco has been here for two to four. So that being said, it's just like dang man. I would have I was really hoping for just more new characters, but. 
let's properly oh i'm pressing the wrong keys let's properly break down these trailers so i can um show you guys what's new and what's old and we'll just see what they change animation wise for some of these characters also i'm definitely going to say this because i say this for all my analytical videos when it comes to pirate warriors four characters at the end of the day we do not know what level these guys are on i'm assuming that they're playing these guys on base level level one so that there's not too many spoilers and you get to actually enjoy the level up process when you get to play as these characters. So if that is the case, there is probably a chance that Ace, Marco, and Whitebeard could do crazier, nuttier things. Because if they are level one, then we're not obviously going to see the full, like, you know, potential of these characters. So that's number, that's, that's one thing you have to keep in mind. All right, let's see. I think that was a Pirate Warriors 3 move. Yeah, I, I feel like the way how they felt like they could change Ace in this game is by making him more of a charge character. I still feel like Sabo has more changes than Ace, but then again, Sabo is an alive character. There's more things you could develop and change with the character itself. All right, let's see it. We're going to see it one more time. Yeah. Rewind that thing one more time for us. So I can I can confidently say Ace, the cool thing about him is a lot of his moves are charge based. And it looks like he has better flame manipulation than Sabo, which makes sense because technically speaking, even though Ace isn't alive, when he was alive, he did have the Mera Mera for a while. You see, moves like that is kind of dope. I'm, I'm not going to take that away from Ace. That small change of making Ace a charge character where you're able to just charge up his moves, that's actually pretty dope. All right, um, let's go back to Marco. Let's loop it a little bit. All right, and let's go. So for some of his combos, I do know that they switched up and changed up the animation a bit. Like these are some of the moves that he's been doing in Pirate Warriors 2 and 3. But some of the sequences have changed a bit. Yeah, that's old. But they just changed the animation of it. And that's what this is old super too. Yeah, Marco, they really didn't showcase too much outside of what we already know him or know, know of him of doing. We'll, we'll, we'll watch it one more time. The one thing I do like about Marco, though, like, aerial-wise, just what he's able to do in air is actually pretty dope. Also, we don't know if Marco has, like, a transform state as well. Because that could be a really interesting thing. Oh, okay. ah, God. I'm fumbling on my words. That could be a really interesting thing for Marco as a character. Just like how Big Mom and um, Kaido have their transform states. It would be really dope and crazy if um, Marco has his own transform state. If that's the case, then Marco will play as a completely different character. That ch oh, oh, I think I got myself a little hype for Marco because if you really think about it, and they're only showing us his base form gameplay on top of it only being level one, imagine if he's able to actually have like an awakened state, like a Phoenix state. That would be so clean. That would be so dope. But for right now, we'll just leave that on the speculation table. That's not confirmed at all. If he's going to have a transformed state. All right. Now Whitebeard, Mr. Whitebeard. All right. First thing first, let's loop it. Um, full screen. Okay. Same thing like Marco. I just feel like some of the animations are a bit different. And obviously, they added a couple of more sequences to his combo strings. But Whitebeard plays pretty much the same. Like, he doesn't feel that much different from his Pirate Warriors 3 counterpart. Obviously, certain animations are a bit different, but he still feels like the same character, you know? Even his ultimate's the same. His ultimate's been the same for, like, a, a now four games. <laughs> 
his ultimate has been the same for four games. But man, at this point, man, it's that's ah. I have to see what Whitebeard can do. I have to see what Whitebeard can do when he's leveled up. Because I don't know if Whitebeard is going to have a transform state. I doubt it. I feel like most of his interesting and unique combos is going to come when you get him to a decent enough level. Like maybe level 30 or 40 or something like that. Because right now, I just... I genuinely just don't see it with Whitebeard. Marco, because of the way how Pirate Warriors 4 works and some of the mechanics in the game... Marco is an interesting character because if he does get a transformed state, Marco would be a very, very interesting character. I would love to see how he plays after that. Um, Ace, the way how they utilized him and changed him in a very unique, small way is making him charge his fire based move. So I'm assuming that when you do charge his fire, it does either more damage or the range of damage increases, which would be pretty dope. I still think that's dope. It's subtle, but it's cool. Whitebeard, I don't know. Like, Obviously, destructive power-wise, Whitebeard is going to be a complete monster. But just the way he fights and the way he plays, I've been playing Whitebeard for now, I want to say, for the lifespan of the Pirate Warriors games, ever since early PS4. Five years? Like, we're going on five years playing Whitebeard, and it's kind of just like, he, he doesn't really do much new stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe when the game officially comes out, I try Whitebeard. I'm going to be completely just out of breath, out of words. I'm just going to be shocked. But right now, I just really don't see it. Yeah, I really don't see it. But um, that's all a matter of opinion. I try to be as subjective as possible. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like that these three characters are back? Would you guys prefer, or would have you guys preferred other characters? And if so, what characters would you guys have liked to see? And, um, yeah. Do what you guys always do. If you guys can, definitely leave a like. If you guys like the video, definitely subscribe. I really do appreciate that. Um, you guys have yourselves a good one. Peace.